So here we are at the location. Uh, this may be a crime scene. Uh, we've looked in the room and what's noticeable to us is that there is some cloth lying under the table and that has some spots on them, some red spots. Um, we don't know yet what it is, so let's take a look. So the first measurements were performed. The scene is recorded and the chemical analysis is made and we can see several spots. Uh, some of these are indicated as being blood. Uh, some spots are not indicated as being blood, so that these are excluded probably. And there are some color differences, meaning there are some new, maybe and some old blood in the scene. Uh, but I want to take a closer look at the other, other stains, which are also there. So let's take another measurement. So we've done a second measurement, uh, looking at all the stains. We nice have, nicely have an overview of the scene that we've just imaged. Uh, we can see several stains, they've been colored. There's an image segmentation step here. Some have different color overlay over them. So from this scene, we can predict or we can say that these, some blood stains are older than the other ones. So analysis of these kind of scenes, these kind of stains, uh, with the normal techniques would take a very long time. We would have to sample it and then send it to the lab before we get our answers. Now with this technique, it would take very fast measurements and then we get our chemical analysis and then we get our results immediately at the crime scene. Thank you.